So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So the 10th enemy Blitz battle has ended and my alliance, the Revolutionary Army 1, went absolutely ham. And yeah, if we look at both the global server ranking and even the worldwide ranking, we were able to get first, which is insane. And we're going to talk about the team's performance first and then start with my own. Because if things to talk about my own performance, because if you compare me to the rest, there's something <laughs> glaringly wrong, whatever to call it. But yeah, let's just focus on the immense performance of my teammates here. First, we have Pedro, which is two shanks, who is honestly the best OPTC player right now. Uh, at least in terms of peaks, like it's insane the consistency he can keep while also minimizing sleep because that's how rankings are in this game. You have to sacrifice sleep, which is a part I don't like and I only do it a few times a year. But yeah, these. At least the young ones can really do it. But as a unit team, we had four people who did over 1000 runs. And not only that, like if we check the uh, leaderboard, there will be there are some we think are cheaters here, so keep that in mind. But if we look at the leaderboard, like we have Pedro there, who will finish first, we presume. We have Garens, LS, Indianos even before any potential cheater bans or such. We already have four people from the team in the top 10, which is absolutely bonkers for sure. And potentially maybe someone else if we get a few bans, but don't think we'll get that many. Even if you look at the global ranking, like it's pretty hard. To get top 10 in the global ranking because we talk about this a lot. JP has a big inherent advantage in terms of Blitz in particular since the reloading times are a lot smaller. So this is just natural. So the fact that uh, two shanks is basically top 3 if you presume the number 1 here will be bad. If you presume that like shanks, two shanks is 3rd place which is absolutely mental achievement by him. But yeah, like it's not only them because you can't really finish that high with only them. Like everybody else, except for one, uh, did over 600 runs. Like it's insane dedication. And yeah, they really pushed each other. And that's probably the thing I like most about this team since I've been part of this for a while now is that they just have... Like, it's, you don't really have to push it either that much. Like, you're supportive, you just do it. Like, it's just a natural work ethic, basically, when it really matters, because they don't go <laughs> this hard all of the time. So, yeah, shout outs to all of them. I have immense respect for every single one of these players. And without out of the way, <laughs> let's talk about the black sheep here. I, I want to be clear about two things. First, I have like decided openly that for any month, I will always prioritize content uh, for a few reasons. Like I've done YouTube a while now. So when I look back in like viewership and such, any month always by far the best. People are the most interested. We have returning players and such. So... Yeah, it just makes sense for me. And also from a personal person perspective, like I know I will not agree with, not everyone will agree with me on these standpoints, but like I have immense, immense respect for the team for getting first in the hardest event because any events are harder. There are more people who want to go for it. There's more prestige. But for me, I don't care about prestige. Like for me, a first place in a blitz where barely anyone has pulled. It's the same for me as first place in the 10th anniversary Blitz battle. That, that's just me. So I don't care about that. So for me, it's just 
a bit dumb to go hard when it's the hardest to rank high. I don't really have that sportsmanship winner mentality or whatever it is. I don't care about that. But uh, I also want to say that I was very clear about this beforehand and I asked them like, like, please bring someone else in. Like, there's a lot of people that are going to go high. There are other TRA members in the top 100, and I only did top 500. So I was like, yeah, just do it. But uh, the leader, Garencia, said, ah, you're, you're going to stay in. And, like, obviously, I'm happy to get all of the rewards. But honestly, like, for me personally, it's one of those weird things where I'd be even more happy about this if I wasn't on the team. It probably sounds weird, but this has just been an added stress for me through the entire weekend. Since I feel myself like it's not nice to the others. But then I'm like, because I'm very pragmatic and it's like, I've done nothing wrong. I said it as it is. I happily said I'll swap. If they want to keep me sure, not my problem. But then you still feel for them and you see them being first in everything. And you're like, should I play harder? But then I play and it's like, I have so much to do right now, both with content and then having content for treasure map, which I plan to farm since it's special. And then a lot at work. So yeah, I said I do top 500. And if you look at the ranking, I did well about top 500. So from my personal standpoint, I feel like I did what you could expect. And to my team's favor, no one has said anything. They asked me to play last two hours when it was getting tight in the worldwide ranking. So yeah, I did that. And if we bring blunt, like if you remove my score from this, we wouldn't be number one. So it's not like my existence was meaningless. But of course, like if they put in another hard form, like maybe they could even get got the 50 million points, which would have been insane. But at the same time, I don't want to make this about me. Like I love to make this video and just talk about the team. But since I am on the team and it does look highly sus seeing me play so much less than the rest. And the thing is that it's not like the others don't take breaks sometimes it happens, but Usually when that happens, it's not like they're playing up to sea. Like I've been playing up to sea. I, I've just been playing other stuff than the Blitz. So, yeah. So, yeah. Don't think there's much more to say. Like this is insane. And I've talked about it before, but Global now has a clear top two alliance than before. It was like clear that AF was the big one and they still win the most. But... I, can't, I don't think anyone can say that it's clear now which is the strongest alliance altogether. And the thing is that TRA is so deep, like 100 members across all of the alliances, that if they try to optimize more to get first, TRA would win more events. But they are treading a needle of both wanting the main team to get a super high placement, but they want all teams to get pretty high placement. So. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's why I was kept in the team, because sure, they could have swapped me with someone who got top 100, but then that team will suffer in the team ranking, etc. So, yeah, I think it's fair to say that we have a clear top two in terms of alliances, and it's super humbling of me to be in one of those, but... And this time, I didn't really contribute what you'd expect. But I will say that most of the time, like also once when maybe others don't pull and don't want to go hard, I am, I am a very consistent performer, except for the month of May. And also in that dull period around half any when I don't pull, I don't like to play events hard when I don't pull in general. But yeah, again, congrats to my teammates. They are amazing and I'll just contribute more at another date maybe not the kisna though please let me let, please let me skip the kisna at least but yeah thanks for watching guys see you next time